Hey guys, Rich from Over the Fender Garage. All right, here we are. It is the big day to break this one out. We got our first one ready to go. Got it all fiberglassed up yesterday. Got the whole thing complete. You can see right here, shows on the camera. You see that color changing? That's because it's already releasing itself from the mold. There's enough stuff on there. It still won't come out of there real easy, but that's what it does when it starts to release. Kind of gets a little different color, kind of like a green color, because the, the part all is on the part, so it gives it a little green hue to it. But we'll get this one out of here and get it cleaned up, and we'll be able to stick it on the truck. So. Let's yank this thing out of here. All right, got all the bolts out here, nuts off. Some wedges, these wedges, there's two different colors for a reason. The white ones are stiff and the pink ones are really, they're softer, they're not as hard as the pink, as the uh, white ones. So these will go around contours better. So you got one that's stuck on there really good and you got a lot of contours like the front side of this. These are better to use because they'll flex really good. These won't. So that's why there's two different colors. See here, this one here. It's not a good idea to use metal on it because you'll scratch the mold. You always want to use plastic. You don't want to pick up on it and try to force it off that way. Always want to use your wedges. And I have all the edges of the mold. I just got a piece of packing tape folded over the edge. So if you were to get the fiberglass up onto the mold itself, it won't stick or you'll see a spot where you can cut it without cutting your mold. Just makes it a little simpler. All right, back on it. 
Now this part here, grab one of these ones. And blink. I'm going that spot mainly broke out except for right there. There she goes. There it is. Look at that. There it is. So now see how that part all stuff. Poof, right out of there. And peel it out and the rest will just wash out and turn back into liquid. But what I do is when I get done with something like this, this back one, I'll keep the plug. I'll put it back inside this mold. Cause that way, because I don't have them really, really heavy molds, I'll put it back in here and screw it all together so I have double strength so it doesn't just form or anything. You don't want it deforming on you wherever you got it sitting. So I try to put it in a level spot with the plug in it. So I'll take all the wood and stuff I've got in the plug, trying to lighten it up a little bit so it's not too heavy. Front one, I don't know if I can do that because that front bumper being inside that mold I think I might just end up breaking that plug but you can see this one's ready to go we got to get these cut here get this cleaned up a little bit and then this one's ready to break off here and we can get making the front bumper so that's cool and so I don't know if I'll be able to get this bumper out of that plug I'm going to try because I would like to keep this one inside the mold too, but I can't keep it in there with that bumper in there. That sucker is heavy. That's probably, probably about 65 pounds worth of stuff there with that front bumper and everything in there. So it's extremely heavy. I can't put it on my shelf that way. So, but we'll give it a shot. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and we'll drill all these bolt holes, get that ready. I'll cut it clean and we'll get this one off. So, on to time lapse.
All right, now we've got the front bumper sitting here. It's all ready to go. I went ahead and I clayed the whole thing up. Got that all in there. I sprayed in the part all. You see these couple of spots here. This will happen. I don't know what happens to them, but it's a piece of something stuck in. I think it peeled off something from the front bumper when I took it apart. I'm not real sure, but I'm not worried about it. I can take and you're actually supposed to take these things and you're supposed to wet sand them and then buff them back out to 600, I think, something like that. But I'm not doing that. Not right now. I don't have the time. So I just put a little clay over the top of it. I'll fix it when I fix this. So that's fine. Everything else is perfect. Just that one spot right there and that spot there and one little tiny spot there. So not a big concern. But it is ready to go. So we're going to start layering this one up. And then what I've got here, this is a bumper that I have for another car that I made a kit for. And this is why I didn't make a back bumper for the truck, just that balance mat, just that balance panel, because I'm gonna take this bumper here because it's perfectly flat. I'm just gonna layer in some in this one here and I will cut it down to size to fit in there. And then I'll just make another filler piece and put that together. So that'll be my back bumper on the balance. If it looks good, if it don't, I didn't waste any time or anything. So that's what's handy about having these things done. But I think I can get it to look good. It'll be a small itty bitty bumper on there, but at least it'll have some sort of bumper. Maybe, if it looks good. If it doesn't look good, I won't use it. Nothing but a little bit of resin and time wasted. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll make this up. I'll make that one up. And hopefully it'll be done enough today that I can get that one cut and started them on on the truck. I want to see that bad boy on there, but I also want to get this one done. So <laughs> we're going to get the front one done on the time lapse. I want to thank all my subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. There it is, front bumper 
is all made up. It is ready to be broke out of the mold. And then we got what will hopefully be the back bumper, if I can get that to work. And if it looks good, we'll see. But we're ready to bust them out of the mold. It's a big day. Time to get them fit onto the truck. I can't wait to see what it looks like. So let's get those suckers out of there. I kind of wiped it down a little bit because that uh, part all stuff will kill the Sharpie. So you want to clean it up a little bit. I'll wash them later. But you can kind of see, I don't know if it'll pick it up or not, but you can kind of see right there is the line from the edge of the mold for cutting. So I'm going to cut it bigger than what it has to be. I'm going to try to get right on this line pretty close because that one will be harder to get it up in there tight if I don't get that one closer. But you can basically see right where that line is across that. So I'll stake back on the other side of the Sharpie mark if I can, right in that area. <coughs> And then there's the little jog over here, which didn't show up really good. So I'll stay back from that and then just, just straight cut down. Bottom really doesn't matter. I just want to keep a good amount right here for strength. If you bump into something, it won't break it. So that one's ready to go. And this one here, it showed up a little bit. It didn't show up really good, so I'm going to stay way back. Probably, Hopefully it's about a quarter of an inch that I've got uh, from the edge to what it looks like right there. So I'll stay back a little bit on those. But everything else is marked. It's all ready to be cut. So let's get on to cutting them. Then we can trim them up to fit onto the truck.
ready for this. Shing! Looks killer. Fits pretty good for not being trimmed all the way yet. So, get in here and trim this up a little bit. Needs a little tiny trim right here to get that to go in. It's got to come back a little bit. So I got a little, get, clean that corner out right there. It's touching right there a little bit. And along the front, it's not too bad. Cut it pretty good there. And then over here, same thing. Hitting in that same spot right there. And same spot right here. But it's gonna be almost there. <clears throat> Then got to get it level. Thumbs off it there. Thumbs on it there. This is just sitting on jack stands right now. And there. So next thing I'll do is I'll get that thing fit on there and then have to make some sort of bumper brackets to get it onto the frame and then make the fender bracket so I can attach it to the fenders. But it came out looking killer. Fits on there great. So now we gotta do a little fine tuning and then we can get it all body worked up and that one will be finished up. Let me do right here. Like right there. Along here like that. And then this corner here, let me get that cleaned up there. Man, and this here. I'm doing the lines so I don't confuse because the other stuff there and I'll go and wipe all this stuff off. After I trim these ones <clears throat> for the next trimming, so I'll do that one after I get it fit. I'll do this one here. And then this here. that and then clean these up all right let's clean those up try it again all right when i do a cleanup like this to get these nice and round and stuff you can use sandpaper but fiberglass tears up sandpaper pretty quick it gets gooey and gummy and all yucky because you know the heat from the sandpaper so what i use is a little parting bit this works really good to clean that kind of stuff up and then you can go with a piece of sandpaper and clean up after it. But this is good for cutting stuff out and cleaning up holes and stuff. So it's what I use. So let's clean that piece up real quick there. Mm -mm -mm. And it doesn't create so much dust. Just little shards and a bit of dust. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's noisy. Mm -hmm.
All right. Like that. Pretty clean cut. And grab a piece of sandpaper. Clean that up a touch. All right, do the other side. Fit number two. to go a little bit more. That's the way I do it, little itty bitty baby steps to get it in there tight. I mean, I don't want this really tight to begin with. I do want a gap in there because what I'll do is I'll put a filler in there and the uh, filler will make this edge really strong. Plus it'll spread out anywhere where it's rubbing. So it'll be uh, a big spot that's pushing up against it instead of just a little itty bitty spot. Because, you know, the little itty bitty spot is going to go ahead and eventually cut the paint where you put a big piece back there. It's got that whole piece up against there so it won't rub through the paint. <clears throat> or at least it shouldn't. This one, same thing. Basically the same area. A little bit more right there. It's almost back far enough. So, I'm going to wash these marks off, remark it, and do the next little trim. There it is. It is all fit up. Sit on the, get this out the way. <clears throat> Sitting on there all by itself. I got a couple pieces taping on the side just to hold it where I want it positioned. You see, it sits on there pretty nice. So now the next thing, so I got a little gap there. I want to get a little bit more right here, and a little bit more here so I can pack that full of a filler. But let's see, here we go on this side. You see how that gap is right there? That's what I'm looking for. So I could pack that with filler. And what it'll do is a little piece off there. I want it to sit down on this lip. So all that's not sitting on there. Because if you just leave it with this tight up against it, this is going to cut into the paint. So if you got that area spread out, it won't cut into the paint. So what I'll do now is I reach behind it. You can kind of see it right there. A little pencil mark with an X. I'm going to put a fiberglass on, an attachment point to that. So I have a way to mount it over here. And I can put it low enough where I can lift it or lower it to get it adjusted perfectly. 
So that's what I'll do next. I'll get that piece bonded on there. And that one will be done, then I can finish that gap, get that gap to how I want it. And at the same time, I will make a couple of bumper straps. Oh, let's see here. Make a couple of bumper straps off the front of the frame here. That'll hook on somewhere in there. But that's basically it. That one is fit. So I want to get the back one fit on there, which is easy. It's already got the mounting points and everything put onto it. So that one won't be too bad. But the major part is done. Love it. So we'll get that one off and get those points on there and get onto the back one. All right, I've got the front bumper sitting here, ready to go. I marked out with the Sharpie where my brackets are gonna go on it. It's where the frame is, both sides and the other fender where I put that piece of metal on because I want this to pull down to the fender so it's not going all flapping in the wind or something or just vibrating in general. So that'll be bolted to the truck. That will be. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to tape up the truck so we can tighten up these tops. I'm going to tight I'm going to do just like I did when I was building the molds. I'm going to put tape on here. I'll take in hot glue, piece of wood on the bottom of this and onto the bumper and then I'll get the fiberglass on there. I'll put tape on here just like I did when I was making the mold to get this nice and tight and I'll put my mixture in there. And so that's nice and tight. We'll do the back balances too. <clears throat> but we'll get that part finished up. All right, there is the back one stuck up there. Doesn't fit too bad. Get that up there. But I got to trim it along this front edge here that hits the bed. You see it's way out here. So I gotta take off about a quarter. So I'll take off where it's hitting here first. And it's hitting over here. Get those trimmed in and then bring the whole thing in. This should go tight enough that where the license plate is will sit flat up against the back of the bed. So a little bit of trimming on this and we can get this one stuck up there. She's mounted up as good as I can get her. It's not too bad, if I have to say so myself. I have little things to fix like this. Didn't get any goop in the corner. So goop that up. That's why I want to have these done before I paint anything, because now I'll fill in these. I'll make this a lot tighter than what it is, because 
I can pull it up there, but it's still got a gap. So I'll get that really tight in there. Fix a little spot here. It's the uh, spot in my mold. I didn't cut it right. I must have a piece hanging down in the way. So I'll have to check it. Fix that. But on this back corner here, this didn't work. I was going to have it come over the top and go back around this. It just, I couldn't get it to work. So I just cut it off. I mean, the gap's not going to be that noticeable. And right now it's still split apart quite a bit. I think it's probably an eighth inch out, the quarter panels of moving in. So that's fine. I'll tighten those up when I get the uh, bed all welded together. Get those gaps a little tighter, but it ends up being fine. I'm not, not anything I'm disappointed in with. I'd just like to have had that piece on there, would have been nicer. But all across the top now, this is all nice and tight. I'm probably gonna have to make this bigger over here to get to these bolts on the bottom. Same on the other side. See, I get that, that'll be tight up against there. Two bolts. Two screws right here. We'll hold that there. And over here, see that? You can see that bolt is behind it. So I'm going to have to do something with that. Little notch right here to get down into there. I mean, one, you don't really have to do both, but the uh, this one over here, I overcut it a tiny bit. So when I was doing this, pushing it in there, it slid forward on me. I didn't catch that, so not a big deal. I can fix that. When I fix this, see, I got the same thing on this side of the mold. There's just a little piece that's hanging down or something on both sides. But it's easy to fix, so I'm not really worried about it. And this one here, see, we got to tap that back a little bit like that. Now you can see I missed it because it moved forward on me. Whoops. It's all right. They still look good. Very little work left to do to them now. But when I made this, I got a little too much goop. This is a, uh, a uh, glass beads and a micro fiberglass that you mix in with the resin and it makes like a bondo sort of thing except for it's fiberglass, it's extremely strong. It's not like fiber fill or any of that kind of stuff. I mean, it's fiberglass and it is super strong, but it's something you mix up yourself. And that's what I'll fix all this. That's what I'll tighten this gap. See, if I take this off, you see that? It's what that whole lip is made out of right here. So I, I put a little too much in there, so I had to grind it back. But that's what I'll put on the front bumper, too. When we do that part, you'll see that. But you get it up there. It fits nice. And it's nice because you can kind of... <clears throat> you can kind of uh, contour it with the, with the sander pretty easy. It doesn't gum up anything. So it works real nice. What next is to finish up that part. And then this is, I'm gonna push this up tight and I'll put a piece of tape here and I'll put a little piece of fiberglass right here. So this is holding it up here. So it's not open because otherwise I would just have it holding right here. And if I get a couple over here, you know, one or two, one, two, it'd be nice to have three across here plus these two, three on that side. So that's what I'm gonna do now, is finish up the mounting part of both of them. So, we can get them mounted up tomorrow and that part will pretty much be knocked out. She's getting there. So, let's see, this here. See, I'll mark this with the Sharpie so you can see it better. Just that's where I got that plate on my fender that I put on. I'll just fiberglass on the top of that. So it's got something to sit on. 
and then it'll be fiberglass on that. Same thing down here. This is where the frame is. So I'll do one on the side, one on the top. Same here. Same there. It just make the brackets out of fiberglass. But we can get the mounting part all done now. So let's jump on mounting them up all the way. And then we can finish prettifying them. <clears throat> okay. You see this? It's all in there. So tight I've got that. What I'll do here is break this loose here. Well, let me lift the tape off. Come on. Don't want to break my bracket off the back because it's not done yet. There it is. Just like that. Now lightly sand that. Give it a little round over on it. And that'll be my thing. I don't know if you can see through it or not, but you see there's a big amount of it back there that'll be sitting down on that body line. I did it there. It's on the driver's side, same thing. And that just, it'll keep it from fluttering or rubbing up against the, the body. <clears throat> Backside, did the same thing, closed up that gap. So now we just sand that down a little bit. That'll be done. Filled in a little hole with it. Same thing here, we filled in a little hole. So, all that'll come out real nice and keep it nice and tight. And I put a piece on here for that. This is actually a cutoff from making the uh, one of the bumpers, valance. It was wide enough, so I just used that, glued it on it, and put a strip on there so we can reuse it. Both sides, doesn't need anything in the center since it's gonna have bolts here, but I'll angle cut that nicely so it looks good. So I could put a couple screws in there and that's all held together, all nice. So next thing to do is get those things off the truck and do my mounting brackets. I've got some wood glued to the back side. You see right there. So I'll get them off there and I can glue that stuff up with some fiberglass and they are done. Can get them ready for bodywork. So back into the bodywork phase. Yay, she's almost there. So let's pop these suckers off there. And when I did all this stuff, I forgot to turn on the camera. Whoops. But nothing exciting to see. It's just, uh, just gluing on a lip there. That's all done and we'll get them on the truck.
Now I've got the back all done here. I added this lip on the inside as well as the one I put on the outside you saw on the truck. So I wanted to reinforce it. So I put one over the top of the back on both sides so that'll hang nice and be strong. And then these are my front bumper brackets right here. They're about six or eight layers on there. So they're real thick, be real strong. Those are all done. We can go hang it up on the truck. See, that's the, that's the goo. So that rides right on the fender lip of the body line. It's got all that area, surface area, instead of just having the one thin piece so that'll keep the, from rubbing through the paint. Now I just gotta take this, clean it up a little bit, and hang it up on the truck, start doing a little body work on the front one. Back one's not dry yet, so I'll get the front one set on, and start doing some body work on it. Well, there it is. It is 100% attached. So that's all done there. Now, the front one is all done too. This is all mounted up. So now we just gotta do a little bit of body work to it. See how I get it tight. I like, like that look, it just looks good. Both sides are really tight in there. <clears throat> so now all I gotta do is body work them up a little bit. I mean, there's just a little bit where the clay was on it, stuff like that. Other than that, they're really good. So I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna get on doing the firewall and it is ready to break down. Yay. The best part, the end. So now we start breaking her apart, getting it ready for painting. So, on to the next fun phase, getting this little bit of body work done I gotta do. So, 